So here on number 14, we're told that the area of this entire circle, the entire circle here has an area of 289 pi square inches. The entire circle has an area of 289 pi square inches. <clears throat> now, somewhere on the circle are letters B and C that have an 18 degree angle <clears throat> between them. So we want to know what is the area of this teeny tiny little sector right here. So chances are that we might first have to find the radius, but in this case we don't because we know what the entire area of the circle is. We know exactly what pi r squared happens to be. So if we use the formula sector over area is equal to arc over 360, we know the area, that's 289 pi, we know the arc, that's 18 degrees, so there's really nothing that we have to do except for plug everything in to where it needs to go. Okay, so this question at first glance might seem difficult, but upon further in investigation, it is actually not so. So 289 pi is the whole area, 18 degrees is the tiny one, so this is solved by cross multiplying. 360 times x, that's what we're looking for, the sector area, equals 18 times 289 pi is 16,342.56 dot 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 and then dividing both sides by 360 gives me a sector area of 45.39 square inches so we take the given area and we multiply it by the angle and divide that by 360 and that tells us the area of that teeny tiny 18 degree sector. <clears throat>